The highly anticipated Fujifilm X106 is generating buzz online. Rumors are swirling about what new features will come with this release. Will it live up to the hype? Stay tuned to find out as we examine what's in store with the X106, coming February 20th. Okay, let's dive into what is by far the most exciting rumor about the X106. The new 40 megapixel APS-C sensor. That's a huge jump up from the 26 megapixel sensor in the previous X105. More megapixels give us a lot more flexibility. Whether it's heavily cropping images while retaining high resolution, or printing out massive gallery-worthy prints. This could take image quality to the next level. Of course, Cramming so many pixels onto an APS-C size sensor can be tricky. We'll have to see how well Fuji manages noise levels when shooting at high ISOs. We're expecting they might come up with some new tech and processing tricks to keep noise under control. Their sensors always punch above their weight. Are you struggling to explain your idea? Your audience is not getting what you're trying to say. An animated explainer video is a perfect solution for you. Explainer Video simplifies any complex ideas through engaging animations, transitions, voiceovers, and meaningful scripts, which all together create a fun experience for any viewer. And here comes Ten Studio, a team of skilled professionals dedicated to creating engaging explainer videos. With over thousands completed projects, we have the expertise to create explainer videos that break down your message and connect with your audience. Get in touch with Ten Studio today. Speaking of processing, rendering all those megapixels quickly is no easy task. That's why the rumored X Processor 5 is so exciting. If it's anything like the current X Processor 4, we can expect big gains in overall speed and efficiency. We're talking faster write speeds, quicker autofocus, reduced blackout time on the EVF, and improved object recognition. That's huge for capturing split-second moments. Autofocus in particular is getting a major overhaul, with the hybrid AF system now featuring 425 points, up from 117 points on the X105. That's going to make a big difference when shooting moving subjects. Way more AF points means way better focus coverage across the frame. Combine that with algorithms optimized for tracking focus on people, pets, and vehicles, and the X100 the 6th of May just become an ideal street photography camera. Face and eye detection already work amazingly on Fujifilm's latest models. This should take it even further. Let's not forget this will also be an amazing video camera. The X105 could shoot DCI and UHD 4K, but only at up to 30 frames per second. If rumors of 60 frames per second 4K video are true, that's a serious upgrade for videographers and vloggers. Buttery smooth 4K at 60 frames per second will give loads of flexibility for slow motion when editing too. The larger sensor also allows for a gorgeous cinematic bokeh. Small but powerful, it might just be the ultimate 4K vlogging camera. However, so far we haven't heard much about changes to the actual design and handling of the X106. It will presumably retain its iconic retro rangefinder inspired body. A new lens would be exciting, though the 23mm f2 is already fantastic. Some ergonomic refinements like a bigger hand grip or refined controls would be welcome upgrades too. Or a secondary top display like on the X-Pro3. A little refinement of the analog dials to prevent accidental bumps. We'll have to wait and see. There's no getting around the fact that the fixed 23mm f2 lens is a double-edged sword. Yes, it's extremely sharp edge to edge, and the f2 aperture is perfect for low light shooting. But not having the ability to swap lenses does limit the camera's versatility compared to interchangeable lens systems. For example, you won't be swapping out a telephoto zoom lens to compress landscapes or isolate details. You get that one classic 35mm field of view, which is highly optimized for street photography, but less adaptable overall. Pricing will be key. If Fuji can keep close to the X-105's $1,399 launch price, then the 6 represents an amazing value. However, a big jump to $1,699 or $1,799 seems likely given the upgrades. At that price point, some photographers may decide to put the money towards an interchangeable lens body instead. 
At the end of the day, who is this camera really for? Obviously, Fujifilm loyalists will be first in line, yours truly included. But beyond that, it's perfectly suited to street photographers who need a fast, discreet camera that can nail focus and tonality. Landscape shooters will love the resolution bump and dynamic range for capturing epic scenery. Vloggers and video creators will drool over the boosted 4K 60p video capabilities. For all of these users, the X106 promises to be an amazing creative tool in a compact, carry-anywhere package. Its strengths lie in image quality and portability. The fixed lens trade-offs may be unavoidable, but for many, won't diminish what is sure to be an outstanding camera. So, that's all about the rumored X106. Let us know your thoughts. Are you excited about the rumored X106? Will you be upgrading or maybe buying it as your first Fuji camera? We'd love to hear your takes. As for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.